Hello, this is Liam from Weirdy Ocean, and you're listening to Morgan Richards on Radio Cardiff. Hey, I'm Morgan Richards from Radio Cardiff from 98.7 FM, and I'm very pleased to say that I'm rejoined in the studio today by a band who have been away building an arc of new material and plans over recent times. It's of course those young-hearted runaway rock machines from Essex. It's the wonderful Liam of We Are The Ocean. Hello. Hey Liam, you right? I'm alright, yeah, good thanks mate. How's things? Yeah, good, really good, not too bad. Come all the way from Essex today, beautiful sunshine, nice drive across the bridge. Yeah, it's good, it's okay. good. Oh, well, fantastic. So Liam, to start, it's fair to say that over the last year you've pretty much been locked away behind the scenes, giving it your all and working intensely towards your fourth falling studio album, Arc, set for release now on May the 11th through BMG. We've been very vocal in saying how you've stepped out of your normal boundaries with these new tracks that have surprised yourselves as well as fans. I'm sure you just can't wait now to unleash it and show people just what you've been up to. Yeah. It's been a long time in the waiting. We uh, we took a lot of time out to write and record. We were in the studio for two months last year down in uh, Devon, a place called Middle Farm with Pete Miles. We had a lot of time to kind of think about, you know, what we kind of wanted for this next album. It's been good for us, I think, because we've come back now and uh, you kind of, when you have so much time away from something, you come back with a newfound respect for it. And uh, I think the band now is stronger than ever. There's a lot of love like between us guys, like, you know, very very close now and ready for the ready for the next tour you know ready okay. to take get back out there oh fantastic and just by listening to some of the singles you've released so far from the record it goes without saying just how much you've progressed into a new style having this ambitious beefed up full rock effect compared to previous releases and a much more darker sounds pushing yourselves musically yeah um that came from when we i guess when we started recording Maybe a bit before, actually, we were talking with Pete about how we actually wanted to record the album, like the process. And uh, one thing that was a big inspiration for us was um, a lot of older bands from you know, the 60s, 70s, Led Zeppelin, James Taylor, Pink Floyd, Crump, Cosby, Stills and Nash. And one thing they all did was like it was a very raw live recording. Mm. So when we went into the studio, we took a lot of time in practicing the songs and really kind of crafting it and working on our musicianship, playing as a band together. So when you actually hear the songs on the uh, on the record, a lot of it's just live as it is. There's not much editing on it at all, which is refreshing. It's refreshing for us guys. I think I think it would be uh, it's refreshing for you know in music in general. And really, when you look at it, every album you've released has actually expanded into a slightly different direction with new elements and ideas. When writing, is this something you try to incorporate with new lighting insights, or is it just something that's happened naturally and subconsciously? Yeah, I think um, when when we go back into writing mode, I guess, I mean, we never stop writing. I, I just, I don't like to write the same album every time, you know, I, I just, uh, I think... Every album is like a kind of a blank canvas and when you start afresh it can be whatever you like want it to be and sky's the limit I don't think you should be like kind of stay to one thing well not that I don't think you should do that but it's not really our thing I guess mm. And as we've mentioned, with you trying to push yourselves musically on this record, I understand that you've actually imported some more elements of the likes of piano, string sections and female back and vocals with having a few friends join in for a never really dimension of depth. Yeah, um, again, um, down at Pete's, we, we did a, a live album there uh, a couple of years ago and we met some really good musicians there, some really good friends as well. And that was the first time we met Simon Dobson, composer of uh, the strings for, for, for this album and on the uh, Middle Farm album as well. So for this album, we kind of, we wanted to bring these people back in to kind of share the experience and really just kind of like get a really good vibe going on within the studio and that's the best thing i think about being in a band like if you can share your music with other people while being creative as well you're always going to come out with some something maybe that you've not really expected expect of yourself you know and uh, with that is there anything else you have locked up secretly on arc that you're really looking forward to people to hear or um there's a couple of things actually there's a nice little um different version of a song on the uh there's a song on the album called letter to michael it's like an acoustic track but there's a if you if you buy the vinyl version of the album then there's a different version of that on there and uh we've also been back in the studio again just to uh pick up some well record a couple of covers and some other songs off the album just different versions so there's still stuff more stuff to come after the album as well and uh, as you mentioned there, one thing I actually wanted to uh, talk to you is that on the album, there's actually a track titled Letter to Michael that's actually written as a heartfelt tribute to your father, showing a really newfound lyrical sensitivity. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I guess like 
lyrically on the album altogether i really try to kind of like step out of what what i'd normally write about um normally it's very quite self-involved and you know i'm kind of pouring my heart out onto the pages but on this one um I, you know like we kind of did it more as a collective and came out with some really kind of funky ideas which was great you know it, made, it makes it so much more interesting but i guess yeah so for letter to michael that was the one where i could uh I, I guess like kind of you know kind of get some uh get some feelings off my chest and stuff you know so and as you've already stated you returned to record the record at the wonderful middle farm studios in devon the same place that's produced your last two records as well as a live release does that studio just feel now the right place to go and make new music after spending so many good memories there to do things in a much more relaxed atmosphere yeah and we've been there yeah like you said we've been there a couple of times now and it's where pete records you know it's his studio i think um we have a good relationship with our producer and that's where he works from at the moment for us to go back there again it just made sense whether we'll go back there again uh, i'm not too sure but I, i'm pretty sure we'd be working with pete we might go somewhere else maybe iceland or tahiti we're called on a volcano somewhere <laughs> And uh, recently you guys have been busy on the road this year touring in support of the release with a headline run across mainland Europe before embarking and supporting Loading Atlantis on their sold out tour across the UK. I'm sure it's just been fantastic to get back on the road now and see familiar faces playing these new songs as well as some of the classics. Absolutely, yeah. Um, it's been a long time since we've played in the UK and especially with uh with a, an old friend like kind of band like LTA we haven't, mm. we haven't played a show with those guys for a long time so it's really fun. And the set, yeah, we're, we're gonna uh, we're doing quite a lot of the new stuff, but we made sure that there's a, all the classics in there as well. I can imagine we'll be doing a, a full UK tour at the end of the year. Can't say anything really right now because I don't really know myself, <laughs> but so I've been told there's going to be a tour at the end of the year. So, yeah. and you guys are pretty much going to be touring for the rest of the year now. We're going crazy in the summer festivals, appearing in the likes of Slam Dunk, Two Thousand Trees, Nas, and of course Reading and Leeds. Yeah, I'm sure playing all these massive shows around the summer is just going to be something you can't wait to get yeah to. yeah it's been yeah, like again like because we haven't played festivals for such a long time so it'll be really nice to get back onto that kind of circuit of things and they're always fun the festivals like there's so many good bands that you're playing with and you find out about new bands I th that's the, my favorite part of being on the festivals mm. you, you, you you can walk around and uh you know f come across a new band and just talk to anyone and, uh, it's a good it's good um good spirit within a festival so yeah, that's good. And now, William, just a couple more very quick things before you go. As you've mentioned, back in 2013, you guys released the Live at the Middle Farm Studios record. That's where you re record a whole host of your back catalogue live in different arrangements and styles. Was it nice to revisit some of those earlier material in the past with so much change happening in We Are the Ocean? Yeah, I, we, we always like play the old songs in practice and stuff as well um for fun you know so yeah it was really nice to kind of play some of those old songs especially like confessions came out really nicely yeah okay and could we maybe expect you guys to do anything like that again in the future or um i, I don't know maybe who knows what the future holds <laughs> And with that now, as I've mentioned, you're going to be very busy all year now really supporting the release of ARC. But is there anything else we can expect from We Are The Ocean in the near future? Um, just expect us to be on the road a lot more at the moment. And uh, we've, obviously we've got the album coming out, so uh, hopefully you'll be seeing us everywhere. Okay, well fantastic. Well, uh, that's about it. Cheers, Liam, for coming into the studio to have a catch up with me. Uh, no worries, thank you, Morgan. Best of luck now with all the touring and the release of the record, and hopefully I can catch up with you again very, very soon. Right. Yep, sounds good. See ya.